welcome to another video tutorial coming to you from stillofeandmotion.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, use the inbuilt effects from Final Cut Pro to make your own custom transitions. Now Final Cut Pro provides its own video transitions but you might find this a little bit unsuitable for the project you're doing um, and so you're looking to, to, to find other transitions. Um, so what you want to do is you want to just bring your two clips onto the timeline like I have here and you want to just cut them at a point about there and about roughly the same on the other clip as well and you'll see why in a second now come up to effects video filters and I'm going to show you just one example and this example uh, the technique that I use applies to any anything you want to do I'll, I'll tell you of some other ideas you could um, utilize but I won't show you because it'll be exactly the same thing so come to image control and brightness and contrast and drag that onto both of your little cut um, clips here now double click your first one come up to filters and so you've got your brightness and contrast here now on your first frame just make a keyframe like that now with your right arrow move all the way to the end frame so that's your first frame of your next clip. Just go back one with your left arrow and create a new keyframe. While you're on that keyframe, just drag the slider up to 100. Okay. Now you come to your next clip, double clip it, and come to the first frame like that. And make a new keyframe. And while you're there, drag that up to 100. Now with your right arrow again, move to the end of that uh, clip. So that's the next scene. That's the next clip. And just go one back with your left arrow and click new keyframe and drag your slider down to zero. Okay, now that's pretty much the effect I'll show you. Now to make that a little bit more smooth, because you can see that that rough cut there, just put in a uh, cross dissolve like that. And you can see much more smoother and you just made your own transition. You can, if you'd like, you could say if you went up to the sun, you could um, you could blow out the light and and then fade that to another shot. Or an idea is use the Gaussian blur, exact same technique. Um, and the Gaussian blur um, is good for vox pops or interviews where you've got um, a delay in the response to a question uh, in the middle of of the answer and you want to get rid of that um, that silence and it's a clean um, smooth cut and and it looks really nice as well anyway thank you for watching this video tutorial I hope it helped you out a bit now be sure to check out more video tutorials from stilllifeandmotion.com as well as the latest blogs thank you